Here we have the 2021 Tesla Model Y Performance. So that makes this a dual motor, all wheel drive setup. It's putting out 450 horsepower, 471 pound feet of torque. And this one comes in black on that most desirable white vegan leather interior. So as we get to the front here, of course we have LED daytime running lights along with LED headlamps and then your fog lamps down there. And then we have the 21 inch aluminum turbine wheels here. Then you have your power window switches here, open the door here, and then emergency, you pull up there to unlock manually. And there's the power driver's seat with power lumbar support. So let's go ahead and hop in the back seat here. So I have the seat quite a bit back for someone of my size and I'm six foot three and still have enough leg room really for how I'd be sitting. Of course the seat back is pretty hard, but I kind of like it. And then here we have our rear AC vents along with two USB-C charging ports. And there's a view of the front from back here. And then you can see the speakers in the hatch there. And there's our middle seat with cup holders. And we're gonna take a quick glance at this glass roof here. Love that. Let's go ahead and check out the cargo space next. There's the back end there. Plenty of space. Then to close that. And then we have our power passenger seat with power lumbar support. So I'm gonna hop in here just to show off the, the front space. And there's that there. Of course you have your windshield wiper fluid. That's where you put that. Let's hop in the driver's seat and take a look at all the tech features you get on this. So there's our leather wrapped steering wheel there, really nice. And over to the screen here, we're gonna start with the main controls. So you have your quick controls, lights, adjust the mirrors, adjust the steering wheel. I'm just kind of going to run through it. And of course, for your acceleration, you have your chill, which is kind of an eco mode than your sport. And then you have comfort standard and sport mode for your steering. And then you can change how you want the car to move when you let off the uh, throttle. Autopilot controls. So 
So for your radio stations, you have FM, and then you also have online, so you can stream directly from the internet, and then you can hook up your Spotify, and then of course you have Bluetooth audio. Windshield wiper controls, you can toggle that here. And then you have your backup camera with your curbside view cameras as well. And then you can check out your energy consumption, charging. Of course, you can use your web browser there. And for entertainment, Sky Force Reloaded, Solitaire, Beach Buggy Racing, which is my favorite, along with a few other games. And then, of course, you can mess with the speakers and do all that fun stuff that the kids love. But we have dual zone automatic climate controls here. And then we have a heated steering wheel and three stage heated seats for the front and the back, all five passengers. And then down here we have wireless phone chargers, nice center console cubby space, cup holders, additional storage. There's that glass roof again. Then to open the glove box, of course, you just hit that there. And then we have our manuals and such. And then volume controls, cruise controls. And our shifter, we hit the brake, hit all the way down for drive, tap up for neutral, tap all the way up for reverse, press P for park. And of course, for our key fob, you just have the key card here. But next it's time to go ahead and take this Model Y Performance out on the road for a quick test drive. never gets old. <laughs> Give a little space here and give it some throttle. No one's behind me. And just watch the speedometer go. Whew. It just throws you back in the seat. It is the craziest thing. Absolutely wild. Traffic is so thick out here all the time. You really can't throw yourself back like that very often, but oh, it just, it doesn't get old. That's all I can say about it. It's just so exhilarating and I don't really know any other EVs other than 
your sport cars, like your Porsche Taycan and maybe even a, a Mach-E GT, cars in that league, but for this to just be, it's a performance, but still, it's an everyday driving car that you can drive every day. It's just incredible how this thing throws down the power. It's just nothing like it. And I will say this Model Y really is, you get the same comfort level as you would in a standard range. And it's nice to know that you're not losing that much ride quality, getting something super fast as opposed to getting just a normal driving vehicle. And not to say the standard range Model Ys are anything to sneeze at, but this is just a whole, a whole other animal, it really is. I love how easy the vehicle is to control. And you can just let it take over with the autopilot. And very, the autopilot really cannot be touched in terms of the autonomous driving or semi-autonomous driving because it's just so smooth and they have years of working on this you know, they're pretty much ahead of anybody else when it comes to that level of driving. But it's just so smooth. When I had my Model 3, I would use it all the time, even though I shouldn't. Highways, city streets, didn't matter. Because I can just do this and it's fine. I don't worry about it at all. And I will say the openness of the vehicle itself or how open it feels, just not having stuff all over the place, having glass everywhere you look, it makes the vehicle not seem as loud on the inside than it actually is. Kind of like if you're in a, a Jeep Wrangler with a top off, you're not really concerned about wind noise or road noise. So it's really an afterthought because you have all this performance and all this technology at your fingertips. And it's definitely not loud in here, but I've been in quieter vehicles, quite a few of them actually, and this isn't fantastic, but it's good. And honestly, everything else makes up for it. And this will bring me to an end of my review of the 2021 Tesla Model Y performance.